Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions on how I make the perfect face template videos on my TikTok. And so here's a quick tutorial on how I make these. First, I'm gonna show you how I do it on Procreate. You can also do it on a lot of different softwares like Photoshop, but I feel like the easiest one is Procreate. So I'll be showing you how to do it here. So first you would wanna open up Procreate. Okay, let's just pretend we didn't see that. Then you want to insert an image of whoever victim or whatever that you want to apply to the perfect face template to. So you click the wrench tool again and you insert the photo. So I'm going to do Voldemort because I think he's pretty ugly and he I think he needs a makeover. So before that, you only need one of these. So since Voldemort is a guy, I would use the male perfect face template, which is the one in red right here. So you would just click the arrow thing. Make sure you're on the like the layer where this is on. And you just like resize it to fit his face. You have to make sure when you resize it, the pupils line up with each other. And that's how the perfect face will template fit. You have to line the pupils up with the rest of the face. Then you click on the magic wand place. And you go down and you click on liquid. I have it set to push and push. What push does is basically move his face. So I will want to move his chin to match the template. And then you would just keep moving it with the push tool. So you would just... Take a push tool and move things around so it just lines up with the template. It's not really that hard, it's, it's just liquify. And sometimes, like, the face doesn't really fit in it well. And you could just draw on top of the image to, like, add a nose. Like, for example, like, he doesn't have one. So what I would do in this scenario is go onto the image and just like paint a nose on him. Just add and then turn it back on. Take this color and just paint a nose on. A lot of times if the photo doesn't Honestly, Voldemort's actually pretty fly. Like, his face fits pretty nicely. I'm surprised. I thought he would need more, like, editing on his face. Also, you can use a smudge tool to blend anything out that's not exactly blending nicely when you paint on top of the thing. Image, whatever it's called. Now I turned off the perfect image template layer off and he still looks pretty ugly so i'll just keep painting things on him to make sure he looks nice and pretty and give him a nose <laughs> from time to time i also like to turn the template layer back on just to see what i'm doing is correct and accurate I'll just add more shading on the sides of the nose to make the nose more defined looking and to look like he has one. Just gonna bring some shading back up here. Just like bring it down to give it like a more nose-like shape. some nice shading if you're feeling extra like you can add contour on the sides of the face to make his face look more defined just like give it some nice beautiful cheekbones and if you're even more extra 
you can go and add some highlights so it's like these extra posh, you know. <laughs> you got the pretty, pretty makeup on. It's pretty. Also, sometimes when you move some part of the face, it moves something out of place. So what you can do is you take the lasso tool in Procreate. You can find this on this ribbon looking thing. And then you just go and trace around it and make sure to include the lip and the lip template on there so it matches. And then you would go to the liquify tool again so when you move the lips it won't move any other part of the face another helpful tool in liquify is is expand which can like you can give them botox just like that just like tapping on it it just expands whatever you want you know it's just some diy botox tricks and then, to, in order to clear a selection, just click on this again and everything will disappear. So now I turn the template off and I see that it looks weird over here. So what you can do is go to the magic wand tool again and then you press clone. So you would drag this, it would stamp this area and copy that area to wherever your brush is. So you could just do this and it will erase some of the weird stuff that liquify does to your images. So I just move this around to make sure it just grabs certain spots of the face and I can make it nice and clean so it doesn't look weird and fuzzy. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I'm too lazy and I just don't do it. So you would just keep doing that to make the face look nice and smooth. Also it's like pretty pressure sensitive so the harder you press the more stuff it will clone onto there. Sometimes it's a good and bad thing because you want it to blend in seamlessly with the picture. So. Looks like this. His nostrils look kind of weird. I'm gonna fix it later. I don't know, he still looks pretty ugly. And that's even with a perfect face template on him. Yeah, sometimes it just won't help. Like if something's so ugly, it'll, it'll still look ugly. And it's not really perfect, but it's just fun to do, you know? I'm not giving him eyebrows. I feel like he doesn't deserve eyebrows. So here you go.